Hello, Internet! I'd like an exam in about seven hours, but that's not gonna stop me from playing with waifus. Now, today is a special day. We call it Finally There's Some Shit To Do Day. My epic show has been stale, but now we've got another member of Aespa, Giselle. Not gonna lie, the name sounds fancy. But yeah, she looks wonderful. And I got her like, like a couple hundred pulls, with, not a couple hundred, but a couple ten pulls, which is, is nice. But yeah, these are stats I got on her. Just on paper, it really depends on the damage that she'll do. That will decide if she's good or not. But yeah, Rimmel Light, yes, true. Well, if I killed someone, I'll get an extra turn and then do S1, which also pushes, you know, your ally a bit. And apparently, her damage is pretty damn high. So yeah, we're gonna try that out. If her damage is low, she'll be absolutely shit. But yeah, honestly, it's, it kind of looks like Sid, like her, like her whole kit. But we're also abusing the fact that this uh passive gives her 50% more um, CR received. So yeah, we don't really need high speed on her. So I opted for like a lot of damage. And yeah, we're gonna try and see how she works out. Firstly, let's try and arena now now do know that this is like just a test i don't know if this is gonna go good and i don't know if, I, if i'm using like the best build ever but yeah we'll just try it i mean also because i had an exam because like you know i have an exam this whole week that's why i have not been uploading and i've not been like too creative but yeah i'm pretty stressed out about college but you know what i i hope it's fine like well, once the special goes by i'll go back to like streaming maybe and then maybe posting some random stuff again right we'll try this this will be like a giga stress test for giselle but we'll push giselle and yeah we can either kill the lolly or kill the cow if we do get an extra turn and we crit again to prop power so yeah the test here is can i kill say a proof of valor of angel light or maybe just go crazy and hit the belly we'll, we'll try out so firstly we'll push up giselle and here we go the first time ever of me using the s3 and yeah, we're gonna get the turn no better one i think even if i have like no speed at all the fact that i got a passive effect of combat is increased cash received by 50 so like from what i read i'm supposed to get 40 from flat but because of this passive i'll get 80 total right actually no 60 total yeah 60 total it's not 100 it's 60 total so yeah i can be at power speed and i can still take the turn so yeah that's why i'll do for like 150 160 ish and here we go i don't know if i want to hit the kid you know what i feel brave today what if what if i hit the cow you know what let's go crazy we'll hit the cow we got time better on so that's a, a bit more damage as well can i kill the cow through the protection of no okay uh, well, hey, let's be real here. There's no way she's killing that. But she got close. Let's switch it up, shall we? We'll try this again. And this time, we'll hit the lolly. If I can kill, almost kill the million, I'm definitely gonna kill the kid. So, yeah, we'll, we'll find out how this will work out. Because her S1 is also, like, pretty pogger, I think, the damage-wise. Right, here we go. S3 on the child. Put her in the frame. Skin her alive. And then add her in my collection of kids. Bang! That does not kill either. Wait. Well shit so now we realize her damage isn't actually that crazy i mean to be fair who who in the world could one shot that i don't even think sick could one shot that with like you know attack her damage but i don't think that's possible so let's try something easier i think we'll try this i'm gonna lie i don't think i'll outspeed the, the lily is but we'll just try if this fails this video will be a gosh darn disappointment but here we go do i outspeed i do thankfully right now let's go with giselle now for sure i could have just done sid and it'll be the same thing you know what i mean but yeah giselle feels like a sid without a speed imprint right now we're gonna push we'll absolutely get a turn here and yeah here we go with frame of light now if i want to win i have to hit the rimmer so let's hit the rimmer let's just check out the damage here yeah with the with freaking skyroll protecting the team is too hard so there's no mitigation i do 32k i mean that's incredible no i can't say that's bad that's pretty good right now i got an s1 that i could sober with if i want to question is if i want to i think i do i'm gonna sober just to check out the damage a tap down crit damage buff of course i don't fully below because I'm, I'm a pleb but i use grace of growth how much will i do maybe 10k <laughs> okay i did not expect that one what, what? <laughs> bro that's Crazy, no? What? I mean, I might still lose because it's freaking, it's freaking Senya, but god damn, 30k. That that S1 did 30k. What? All right, can I crit this? I did not, so I am gonna lose. Actually, I could still win this. I will despell with Giselle. I'll despell one debuff, which gets rid of the defense hit chance, right? So technically. I should be able to do a soul burn again. Wait, no, I won't. I will just hit her without, yeah, without the decrease to Chris hit chance. And there we go. One shot. Whoa. Okay. Giselle. God damn. I thought she needed help. I thought she was like, you know, do S3 kill someone? S1 supposed to soften a guy? 
Never mind, the S1 just kills you. So, god damn. This just a meta right now. Is, is this team just a goddamn meta? Dude, that just means her own artifact's so good. You kill someone, you get 10 souls, instantly sober and kill another? That's so good. How about this? I mean, I will probably lose this, but you know what? Let's just try. It's Giselle stress test, okay? If she can nuke this team with Wall of China and a wall of china with very pale paint on it it's not racist i'm describing a wall then giselle is crazy though we'll do this well i don't know okay i don't know if i want to nuke the ravi per se there's no way i'm killing the ravi no can i kill the ravi i'm gonna you know what it's it's stress test right let's just give a shot it's proof of valor ravi but there's no uh mitigation so maybe we kill who knows it's not even proof of valor, and we didn't kill. Shit. Why do I feel like her s one's doing way more damage? God damn. I'm losing a lot, but I mean, it's only because I'm inting. Yes, time matter. Oh, now I know why S1 did so much. I had a time matter, you dummy. How about this? We'll try this, and I don't know. I might just not have speed again, but yeah, right uh, up until this point, she is literally just a Sid with no speed imprint, I feel like. That could hold a tag L. I, I would say that's that's one of the things that we have to take into account. Any mage, they could always take a tag L, but I don't know if I want to tag L on Giselle, though. Her damage is too good for me to tag L this. Right, so I'm going to do S3. Now, I cannot kill Ravis. I cannot kill whoever's protected by Scarol, but I'm surely killing a goddamn C. Lilius with no mitigation. There we go, 27k. Not bad. I can decide to Sorin if I want to, but then again, I don't need to. So let's just try a raw time matter buffed up S1 and see how much damage this does. And we wipe shot it. Whoa. Oh, I did like 15k, so Jesus. I missed on the little shitter crit. Thank you. I forgot about this, but her S1 actually pushes my highest attack allies, so that's why Commander Power is a bit in front. But regardless of it, we are now versus a single Senya again, which there's always a chance of dying, but let's hope not. And I don't think we will. There we go. We crit. So yeah, very, very seamless. I mean, this is like a me unit, no? This is Giselle. It's just a me unit. I want to play fast and... She's fast. What if I did this? I don't know how this will work out, but here's the idea. We're going to use Pavel to soften everyone up. And we have Seedon to push Giselle if I need to. Because Seedon pushes like, what, for 20%? For I'm not sure. I'll get like 30% push on Giselle. And I'll kill whoever is faster than try and kill... I, I, don't, I don't have it in my mind, really. Essentially, I try to use her as the main damage dealer. Like, just go first and then kill everyone. How about if I use her as the secondary damage dealer with people going in front of her? And then, she'll be the support of sort. Right, we'll kill the fastest character? Yes? No? Yes. Kill the faster character, this will mean Seedon takes the turn, but I'm not sure if I'll get cut or not, actually. I might get cut by the Aiden, huh? I get 20% pressures, that means Sid should take the turn. Is Giselle gonna take the turn at all? Wait, do this? Now, should I just go crazy and hit the Aiden? I don't know. I can't tell if Sid's gonna take the turn or Aiden's gonna take the turn. Shit, I should've looked at the freaking... Ah, I think I kill you anyway. I'll go like insane stacks. Never mind. Bang. Okay, we get an attack buff as well. Good. We get the dual attack. That's not good. This will go, and I don't know. Here's where things will get a little bit scary. And the fact that you almost one shot my Sid, bro. What? Kill it? I didn't kill it? And you countered me into a proc. You're gonna proc. Ah, you didn't. Well, I died anyway. Shit. Right, I will lie to you guys. Maybe I just suck ass. Her damage is good, but not good enough to, like, kill anything with arrow in it. Let's give it a few more tries. Yeah, let's make this as the final try. Surely she doesn't just die the moment there's scarrow. Also, we'll, we'll try this out. Maybe... The answer lies within Desert Jewel Bazaar. So I tried to use her as a main nuker. She does the job, but not enough if there's like a Scarol. Like she cannot nuke like a Belen right away if there's a Scarol, which that makes sense. Otherwise, it's too broken, right? So what if I just try and do a team where I do some res residual damage at the start? So Bazaar would go invert the barrier. We're going to lower everyone down. And Sid's gonna do the same so that Giselle can finish things off. This does, this should work. And look at the push. God damn, Giselle took the turn right there. No, 99 right away. This Bazaar pushed a lot. I think it was 30. So 30 plus 15, 45. And the fact that I haven't molded this, I, I, I know, I suck at. Right, so we're gonna try and do the S3 on the Lionheart. This should not kill her. But we should just try to lower her down for Giselle to kill. Now, yes, Giselle can now kill. I'm sure of it. Now I'll push Giselle with the attack buff, and that actually pushes her for a lot, too. Now we'll try and kill you. Now, if Giselle can't kill an Aiden, so I surely could. Let's kill the Aiden. And now we have Giselle with full 
you know, potential, no? I can go for Rowana, but we already tried this out before. I don't think we can kill anyone protected by a score, or you'll get too close for comfort. So let's just try this. We're gonna kill the damage dealer first. And actually, I just realized this, but her S3 ignores damage sharing, doesn't it? Yeah, it ignores damage sharing. So I kind of just don't kill yet. Yeah, dude, what? Well, then let's try S1. I do have reasons to believe this hurts more than the S3. And uh, it kind of doesn't really. Okay, you know what? For Giselle, I think she's kind of just all right, no? But I feel like Sid is way, way, way crazier, you no? Know? Maybe I'm delusional, but <laughs> we'll, we'll try it. We'll keep going. If it was Sid, I, I mean, I don't think Sid would have killed them, but it, he'll 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 have done close, right? Like I don't what seven k there. Let's, let's let's see how much Sid would do if I get a chance. Right. So with no attack buff and S one, how much will we do? Four k. Okay. You know what? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's asking a lot to just compare that. But anyways, you, you know what I mean. Whatever Giselle can do, I think Sid could, because right here I can Solar Nets three, and this does a lot, way more than Giselle's S three would have done. I think. Alright, let's try it out. Go for this. This will do like what twenty four. Okay, not maybe not that much. Fourteen k, fifteen k ish. So yeah, I wouldn't say Giselle do less damage than Sid. She definitely does a bit more. But I feel like why do Giselle if I have Sid? You know what I mean? The fact that Sid also has elemental advantage as well in S three. So huh, I don't know. It's kind of I got mixed feelings right now. Let's let's try this. Right, a tap buffed up S. What? Oh, I could have done S3. Never mind. Tap off. Okay, S3 again. This will be a good shot. This will be a good show. A tap of S3. How much will we do? No soul rate. Well, we can't on S3. So, try the S3. Hopefully, we do decent. Uh, do 21k, which, yeah, it's kind of similar to what Sid would have done on a, on a soul rate, no? Sid might have done even more. Well, yeah, 17k here with soul rate. Well, I didn't fully below it, but yeah, she's pretty similar to Sid. Like, really similar. I don't know about her. I think she's just pretty average no and again i have to stress this out i am it's the first time i'm using her i might be building her completely wrong maybe i have to have no speed at all but yeah maybe you need 5k attack with no speed and 350 crit damage would be that would that would have worked maybe high matter should be decent on her but i feel like her own artifact would be also pretty decent because you get a soul but yeah you know what if i'm gonna be completely honest for myself since I have a Sid and I tried them both together, I feel like I might as well just use a Sid. They, 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 they do kind of very similar things. So let's want to switch Giselle up to be a really hard nuking Sid. So I like lower speed and then go crazy with attack. Otherwise, I think she's like pretty all right. Nothing too crazy, you know I mean? Nothing broken. Or I might be using her wrong. It's, it's the first time I'm using her. So that's the first impression I got on her. Pretty average character. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too meta breaking. So then again, she's not useless per se. But then again... I can just use Sid. So yeah, that's for today. Good luck with your pulls if you want to pull her. And honestly, final verdict, should you pull her? Unless you're a cleaver, there's no need for her at all. And if you are a cleaver, I don't even think you absolutely need her for you to cleave. I feel like there's better ways to do it. <laughs> Quote unquote Sid. So yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go study for the exam now. Take care.